Temporary housing on the way for some flooded out Vermonters. Thank you for joining us at 6. I'm Darren Perrin. And I'm Kat Villianzoni. The Federal Emergency Management Agency has given the green light for so-called FEMA trailers to be shipped to Vermont. Our Calvin Cutler is live in Berlin. Calvin, how will this work? Well, good evening. There's a number of puzzle pieces that have to fall into place over the next few weeks, and the biggest of which being housing. Now, the Berlin Mobile Home Park was thrashed by the floodwaters last month, and some of these homeowners who have been displaced could be eligible for temporary housing from FEMA. Nearly a month and a half after the floods, the River Run Mobile Home Park in Berlin sits empty. Its residents scattered. It's an ongoing challenge and it's housing. And uh, that's where I, I see the bottleneck in some respects. State officials estimate that up to 250 housing units were in need of extreme repairs following last month's floods. For the last month and a half, the Barry Auditorium has been used as a disaster recovery center. We're not allowed to show you what it looks like inside, but staff tells me that there's been about 30 people coming every single day, most of them looking for help finding permanent shelter. As the Green Mountain State prepares for fall, help could be on the way. The Biden administration has approved Washington, Lamoille, and Windsor counties for direct housing assistance. That means modular homes, better known as FEMA trailers, are coming our way. They're deployed to disaster zones where people have nowhere else to go. Units similar to these, except they'll be more suited for Vermont winters. So have insulation uh, for the, you know, the skirting area. Um, they'll have insulation on there. The, the, the water lines will be wrapped. Uh, he did, and so, yeah, so they, they're set for Vermont. The feds are shipping the trailers to Vermont as soon as this week. FEMA will reach out to some 200 people, many of whom who are already receiving rental assistance, but do not or may not have anywhere else to go. We're worried about people who are sheltering in place in places that don't have heat, water, uh, electricity. Sue Minter served as the flood recovery czar after Irene and currently leads Capstone Community Action, which is assisting some 70 families. We have to be thinking about immediate needs and health and safety and winter coming, but also about opportunities to do things differently into the future. So we build resilience uh, and more opportunity for housing and economic opportunity. Leaders are hoping that the first modular homes will be set up by mid to late September. And there's also the complex question of where to put these FEMA trailers and how to hook them up to services. You can't put them here in Berlin because this is below the floodplain. And meanwhile, while those units are on the way, uh, state officials say that you have about two weeks left to report any damage from the floods to FEMA. Reporting live in Berlin, Calvin Cutler, Channel 3 News. Calvin, thank you.